Welcome to your cup series season number four race number two here at Baltimore This is a eight turn road course uh, in Baltimore, Maryland 40 cars are starting this race So let's go through your starting lineup Row one is Martin Trix Jr. and Joey Logano. Row two, Brad Keselowski and Denny Hamlin. Row three, Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch. Row four, Daniel Suarez and Chase Elliott. And row five is Clint Boyer and Ryan Blaney. Row six, Eric Jones and AJ Allmendinger. Row seven, Jimmy Johnson and Jamie McMurray. Row eight, Austin Sindrick and Eric Almarola. Row nine is Kurt Busch and Chris Buescher. And rounding at the and rounding out the top 20 is Michael McDowell and Kyle Larson. Row 11, William Byron and Alex Bowman. Row 12, Paul Menard and Austin Dillon. Row 13, Justin Allgaier and Cole Custer. Row 14, Ryan Newman and Ryan Truex. And row 15 is Tyler Reddick and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Row 16, Bubba Wallace and John Hunter Nemechek. Uh, row 17 is Brandon Poole. And Trevor Bain. Row 18 is David Reagan and Casey Kane. Row 19 is Ty Dillon and Spencer Davis. And row 20 is Matt Benedetto and Gray Galding. So seven laps around this road course and we are under green. Shurex and Logano lead them off going into turn number one. Now onto one of the two hairpins on this course, turn number two. This is the less infamous one. And Logano is going to go to the lead here early. As you can see, I'm going through turn number three now. Through the S's, turn four and five. Now towards the infamous turn number six. It's been there since the beginning. This has been the one everyone has looked out for. You can't go underneath that red. You saw the red in the hairpin there. You can't go underneath it. That'd be cutting the hairpin. And we got some three wide action going on for third. Ryan Blaney, Brad Kozlowski, and Kyle Busch. Busch gives in. Joey Logano will lead the first lap. With Truex following behind in second. We've seen the Penske Fords do pretty well on the road courses in this series. And today is no different as you can see their first, third, and fourth. Kyle Busch challenging Kozlowski for that fourth spot. Not going to happen this time. Going through turn number four now. Logano still with the lead. Blaney closing in on Truex. Truex looking high. Not going to get there. Oh, Truex going low. Logano blocks him. Truex cuts the hairpin. That's a penalty. That's going to be a penalty there for Truex. Truex cannot cut the hairpin like that. He can't go underneath the red lines. So what he's going to have to do now is he is going to have to find a spot that is not on the racing surface, park his car to a complete stop, and then get it back going again. So the 78 team of Martin Truex Jr. now serving their penalty. As you can see him going off track now. S stops his car there. And then gets it back fired. It looks like he's going to be around the 22nd or 23rd position sliding in right next to Paul Menard. Meanwhile, Joey Logano's still the leader, but now it's his teammate Ryan Blaney chasing him in that 12 car. Ryan Blaney has not won since he won for the Wood Brothers in the Season 2 finale. Granted, he's also the All-Star Race winner from last year. So he, it's not like he doesn't know how to get to victory lane nowadays. And Kyle Busch sitting there in third place. He's getting ready to pounce on these two Penske Fords. If one of them were to make a mistake, now they're getting pretty close together. The three of them there. Now we're on lap number four. Four laps remaining in this race. We still haven't had a caution yet as we go into turn number two now. And Logano's going to... Oh! William Byron has hit the wall hard and he hits it again. The caution is out. William Byron has had some troubles off of turn number eight and down the front stretch and is going to bring out our first caution. 
Let's see what happened here to William Byron. The smoke was from hitting the outside wall, but it doesn't see how he hit it. And then he hits the inside wall there a little. And that is going to end William Byron's race there. So very unfortunate circumstance for William Byron. He will not be able to finish the race. Restart here on lap number four. Laney and Logano, Penske teammates, starting on the front row. Green flag, back in the air. Kyle Busch going three wide. Big move for the 18. He's going to get there, too. He's going to pass them. Kyle Busch to the lead. Going through turn number three. Turns one and three. You got to hug that bottom lane. That is the fastest way around. Kyle Busch, the defending series champion, is leading right here at Baltimore. And this is the race where he won the championship last season. He didn't win the race. But he did win the championship. Going through turn number six now. Logano all over his back bumper. Logano does not want to give an inch. Coming around three laps to go. Ryan Blaney sitting in third place in case these two tangle. So three to go going into turn number two. Legato wasn't able to get underneath Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch now opening up a little bit of gap on Legato. Now as they go through the S's. Legato reeling him in again. He's going to try to make a move in the hairpin. No, he doesn't. That's surprising. You see a battle for fourth between Denny Hamlin and Brad Kozlowski back there. And also a battle for seventh between Chase Elliott. And Clint Boyer, Elliott, the highest scored Chevrolet right now. Now Joey Logano basically bump drafting him through turn 7 and going into turn 8. And Ryan Blaney is right there. He is waiting to pounce. Two laps remaining. What will Logano do to try to get around Kyle Busch? Going into turn number 2. He puts the bumper to him and around goes Kyle Busch. Busch spins in turn 2. Oh, and he gets hit by Clint Boyer. Caution flag is out. As you, that's going to bring out the caution there. We can see what happened. There, there's the two right there. Bush in front. Logano in second. Logano just puts the bumper to Kyle Bush. Spins him around. Bush barely misses hitting the wall. But it doesn't matter. As the 14 of Boyer hits him in the side. Not too much damage to either car though. They were both able to drive away. And as you can see here for the restart. They are going to be at the tail end of the restart. Or tail end of the line there. They're going to try to make up as many positions as they can. So now we have a two lap shootout. Once again Logano and Blaney. But it's Penske 1-2-3 actually. As the green flag is back in the air. Who's going to win it? You see Martin Trix Jr. being aggressive on that restart. He's already back up into the top 10 after serving that penalty. Now Ryan Blaney's in the catbird seat as he sits behind his teammate Logano. Brad Kozlowski trying to make it a Penske 1-2-3 sweep by trying to get around Denny Hamlin. Can he do it? Looks like he might be able to. Yes, he does. He clears Hamlin. Everybody's all close together. No team has ever dominated the top three running order in the York Cup Series. Team Penske looking to be the first. Here comes Blaney going to the inside of Logano. They're side by side coming out of turn six. But Logano has the preferred line into seven. He's just got to get around him here. And he does. Logano maintains the lead. But Blaney has a lap to do something as they cross the finish line here. One to go. Blaney still to his corner panel. But Logano clears in. Will Blaney put the bumper to Logano in turn two? No, he doesn't. He wasn't able to get there. Kozlowski lurking in third. Hamlin in fourth. Suarez in fifth. Blaney's right behind him. 
He's just waiting for that opportunity. He's probably going to get it in turn number six. Blaney way down low and exiting five, setting up for the hairpin. To the inside of Legato. Legato into the wall. Blaney with a bit of an advantage over Legato. But now Legato is ahead. Who's going to get it at the line? Side by side through turn eight. Blaney with the run. It's going to be Joey Legato at the line. Joey Logano is going to get the win here at Baltimore. As you see the top 20 pass by your screen here. There's Kyle Busch. He barely breaks into that top 20. Wow, what a finish. And there is Joey Logano in victory lane after that incredible finish between him and Ryan Blaney. That was a great finish to a great race here in Baltimore. So let's go look at your results. Oh, um... Oh. It appears that I do not have the results here. Let me let me get them here real quick because I am not going to re-record this again. Ha. Epic fail. Okay, I apologize. That is the first time I've had to like stop and s s restart a recording like that because I have tried recording this about a dozen times. And if you're in my situation, you know you're just fed up and you don't want to do the whole thing again. Anyway, Here's the results. Logano first, Blaney second, Kozlowski third. The first 1-2-3 finish by any team in the York Cup Series. Uh, you have Hamlin, Elliott, Suarez, Truex rebounding from that penalty to finish seventh. AJ Allmaning over the top ten. Kevin Harvick and Kurt Busch rounding out that top ten. Eric Amarola, Jimmy McMurray, Jimmy Johnson, Michael McDowell with a good finish. To see some notable names. Kyle Larson, not a good day for him. Kyle Busch rebounding from that spin. He passed 20 cars, I believe. Well, 19. Or actually, no, 18. 18 cars in two laps. That is very impressive. Here you see 21st Austin Sindrick, his second start. He's not a full time driver. Um, you see Clint Boyer finishing 23rd. A few drivers not having good days. Alex Bowman, especially. And then you have 31st through 40th, where you have your typical drivers here. Um, Besides William Byron, who, of course, crashed at around the halfway point. So, that is going to end the race here. Um, Calebville for both Xfinity and Cup maybe will be up next week. I don't know. Things have been crazy and busy recently, so who knows when the next race will end up being uploaded. It's really just a surprise at this point. So, yeah, uh, this is Left Turn Productions, signing out.